Now this is how you can capture a full page screenshot on your iPhone. So what you probably mean by this is that obviously whenever you take a screenshot by pressing the side button and volume up button, you capture the whole screen. Uh, however, if you want to capture the scrolling, the, you know, the entire page, which is currently not visible on the screen, you can do that within a Safari. So when you get inside of the web browser and locate any kind of uh, article or something which you might consider to be useful, what you can do is to essentially take a screenshot as if you normally would, but after the preview pops up in the bottom corner, you can tap on it and choose the option to not be just a regular screen, but you can switch it to full page, which is going to be like a very thin and long looking screenshot, but it's very useful because it captures the whole article. So you can do that. And when you choose the full page, you even have like more options to pick from because when you click on uh, save or done, you have the ability to save it as PDF. Whereas the regular screenshots can only be saved as a photo in the gallery. This can be considered to be a PDF file saved into your files app. So not only the full page, but even some additional formats and functionality. So this is how it works. Uh, other than that, there are not really other places where you can do that. So yeah, you can open most of the stuff in the Safari and then take a screenshot if you want to save it as a whole page. So let me know below if you managed to get it to work. And for more straight to the point tutorials, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.